You are a beautiful expression of existence. I hope that you can be exactly how you choose to be fearlessly. Be that expression that you are, that unique expression that you are. You're the only one that can be it. Swinging in the backyard, pull up in your fast car, whistle in my name. I'm in his favorite sundress, watching me get undressed, take that body downtown. I say you're the bestest, leaning for a big kiss, put his favorite perfume on, go play your video game. It's you, it's you, it's all for you, everything I do, I tell you all the time, heaven is a place on earth with you, tell me all the things you wanna do, I hear that you like the bad girls, honey, is that true, it's better than I ever even knew. They say that the world was built for two Only worth living if somebody is loving you Well baby now you do You are a beautiful expression of existence It's beautiful for you to be yourself and express yourself the way you choose to you are the only one that can be that beautiful expression that you are. One thing I feel very compelled um, to talk about is you and I and all of us being able to be comfortable expressing ourselves and being ourselves how we truly want to without worrying about what anybody's going to say or what anybody's going to think. What others think of me is none of my business because how I look at the world and how I perceive the world is based on how I think and feel about it. So if I'm feeling negative about myself, that's going to have a big impact on my world and my perception of my world. So love yourself and love the expression that you are. So have you ever been in a situation where you had to be around someone who it felt very uncomfortable to be around? Um, for example, someone whose energy just felt negative or off. You ever feel those vibes, you know, when you say, ooh, that person had good vibes, or oh, that person's vibes felt rough or raw or negative? Well, that's what I kind of want to talk about here. So one way that I have learned to help me handle being around people that are grumpy, and that are not fun to be around is, first of all, you don't have to be around them. If it's in your best interest, walk away. Second of all, I started viewing them as wounded instead of grumpy, as bleeding and injured instead of mean. And anytime someone would be mean to me or lash out negatively, I would realize that this had a lot more to do with what was going on inside them. And in reality, it was actually showing me something that was going on within me that I needed to take care of. Another thing that really helped me to look at those people who were coming across as negative or mean or grumpy in a better light was when I realized universal oneness. Through universal oneness, I was really able to feel genuine love for each and every person. Unconditional love. Because I wasn't loving because anyone deserved it. I was loving because I chose to love. Because loving is what felt best to me. And universal oneness says that we are all one being expressing itself 
in every way possible. So we are all just versions of each other. I am a version of you and you are a version of me. When I realized that we are all versions of each other, we are all one being expressing itself in every way possible. I am a version of you, you are a version of me. We are all beautiful versions and expressions of existence. And when I realized you are me and I am you, we are all one. It helped me to love and forgive others because they are part of me and I am part of them. So if I hate another person, I am actually hating a portion of myself. And self-love is something that I have realized is extremely important. When you love yourself and you get yourself into a good feeling state of being, that is when you can even more fully serve others and help others. So universal oneness was very helpful to me when I changed my perspective in order to genuinely and unconditionally love everyone. Not because they did anything to deserve it, but because loving feels best to me. When you love, it feels good. When you hate, it feels bad. So when you love and it feels good, that is an indicator that that is your true self. It is an indicator of alignment with well-being. It's you, it's you, it's all for you. Everything I do, I tell you all the time. Heaven is a place on earth with you. Tell me all the things you wanna do. Making a list of positive aspects about the person was another thing that really helped me in changing my perspective of them in a more positive direction. If you can find one thing about that person that you do like and you focus upon that, you will then be able to see law of attraction, bring more things into your reality that match that thing that you focused on that you like about them. And you will see your reality morph to fit that focus. When you truly change your perspective about that person that you had perceived as mean or rude or nasty or whatever, when you truly do change your perception of them, your actions and reactions involving them will be different and the energy that you will be emitting will be different and that is when you will see a reflection of them that matches what you prefer instead of seeing them in a light that doesn't feel good when you view the people around you and your reality as something that you can constantly learn from, then you will find value in everything around you. And you will be able to look at those people that you once considered as mean and angry, as teachers, helping you to learn more about yourself. Tell us what to do. Whatever you say, we'll follow you. And love your enemies. And forgive those who use and persecute you. The 
day of forgiveness is at hand. Forgive Herod. Forgive the Romans. Forgive them all. But the, the Romans have butchered hundreds of innocent people, young people, old people, lives ended without mercy, without trial. Surely you, you can't mean to forgive that master. We must meet the sword with the sword. All who take up the sword shall perish by the sword. But we must end the voice of weeping in Israel. The new Jerusalem will not be built by murder and uprisings. The wisdom of God will fill the land as water fills the sea. The lion will lie down with the lamb. There'll be no more killing or destroying. And the voice of weeping shall be heard no more. The negative polarity experiment ends. Your life ends on this planet, and you're in between lives, and you decide you want to go be a Roman again. Well, guess what? You're going to go be a Roman, but you aren't going to kill anybody. The Roman times aren't going to have killing anymore. Rome becomes a beacon of light. It's a wonderful place to be. Instead of killing and conquering, they use negotiation and peace and acceptance, and they change the world. There's a completely different reality of Rome that has nothing to do with negativity. That is the example of what is going to happen to all of the different constructs that are existing right now on Earth when negative polarity is gone. And negative polarity is being eradicated. The killing, the hate, the discord, the division, it's all going away from every construct that exists inside this galactic conscious. It isn't going to matter where you are in the construct. It's going away. So I hope that you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to have further interaction. And um, if you want to connect with me, hit me up in the comments or check out my other social medias that are in the description below. Um, I'm sending love and good vibes to you always. Heaven is a place on earth with you. Tell me all the things you want to do.